Welcome back to KSL Outdoors, back here in Iron County. I'm Adam Eagle. You know, when people think of OHV riding in central and southern Utah, you know, the Paiute Trail, the Fremont Trail come to mind, but there is a lot to discover here in the West Desert, just outside of Cedar City. I'm gonna head up here on top of uh, what they call Bullion Canyon. There was some early exploration and some mining that occurred up there. Dirt roads and trails left from the pioneer days ribbon through southern Utah's landscape, making for some of the best off-road riding in the state. There are over 400 miles of designated trails in the high mountain passes of the Dixie National Forest, east of Cedar City, and more than 500 miles of trails designated west of Cedar, where we are today. A lot of variety, a lot of places to ride, and a lot of country that a lot of, not a lot of people see and a lot of, not a lot of people get into. One of the things that I think the southern Utah areas have to ride is the color. You know, the, the, the Paiute Trail, you know, has the green, but it doesn't have the red, the yellow, and the gold. Yeah. You know, the color variation in all the rock formations and things like that, that you just don't get anywhere else. We're working on getting the trails a map identified on the county website. You can get on and have a GPS coordinated map that allows you to, to download it and follow where you're going and also provide services, you know, hotels and restaurants where you can stay, where you can fuel and get all the services that you're looking for, so. Now this is called Bullion Canyon. I think there was a lot of early mining exploration and trying to determine whether there was anything of value in here, but it's kind of a cool little canyon. Real steep and got a lot of rocks and there's no access into here, motorized, so this is what you see. Uh, this is the only way to see it from here unless you hike up out of the bottom. What you see down here in the bottom where the power line is, between us and the pivots out there is the Old Spanish Trail. And if you prefer two wheels over four, Iron County has three different trail systems, four service trails, even chairlift access trails through Brian Head's Resorts Mountain Bike Park. We've put in two new trail systems, one on the south end of Cedar City, where you can be in your hotel, go out of your hotel door, and be on a trail within two minutes. And then there's another one that's next to our golf course called Thunderbird Garden, and it is in amazing red rock right inside of Cedar City. I mean, our history is based on the national parks because of our central location, and Cedar Breaks is only 30 minutes away. And Cedar Breaks is a smaller, kind of a smaller version of Bryce Canyon, but it's a higher elevation, so it's a great place to beat the heat. Um, there's some wonderful trails up there. It's surrounded by the Dixie Forest, so you have all the outdoor recreation that you can do there like the OHV, the mountain biking, the hiking. Brian Head Ski Resort does summer activities on the weekends that you don't want to miss out. So Cedar Breaks is really a great place to be. Another great stop just a few miles off of I-15 is the Parowan Gap. The Parowan Gap is nationally recognized due to the quality of its petroglyphs and heralded as kind of a gallery of exquisite, well-preserved American Indian rock carvings. Researchers believe that Native Americans, known as the Fremont, wrote most of the petroglyphs at the Gap. Also, hidden among the boulders and rocks in the Gap are fragile footprints left in the mud some 75 million years ago by a duck-billed dinosaur called hadrosaurs. Iron County has a lot to offer. You know, there is a lot to see and do in Iron County, so much so that you might need a few days to see it all. So Cedar City is definitely the best place to be centrally located to the outdoor recreation of Southern Utah. And we have all kinds of choices in terms of accommodations. So we do have Airbnbs. We even have a Hobbit cottage. Um, we can, uh, there's all kinds of cabins. There are uh, condominiums, if, you, if that's what you're looking for. We have all the major chains in terms of hotels. And then we also have RV resorts that also offer lodging. One of those is Iron Springs Adventure Resort, an old mining claim that has been turned into a resort. It's a little bit of a surprise, isn't it? It really is. 
<laughs> you get you get the best. You get the the history, and then really luxury accommodations inside. This is all old mining industry, and so. These old buildings were all part of the mining process and we have a hotel, RV park, event center. The hotel is the old offices and the lab. This yellow building, the event center, was the electrical building. That's now reclaimed and turned into an event center. So the rooms are nice, have little kitchenettes, and we get comments all the time about how comfortable the beds are. So they try to make it really nice inside but still get the feel of the mining industry. Lots of ATV trails, regular hiking trails, mountain biking trails. Back there, that lighter colored mountain is the old uh, Great Northern Mine, and they've got trails coming off of that. So it's fun to explore out there. There's, there's little mine caves, all kinds of adventures, great for family reunions, things like that. Go to our website, ironspringsutah.com, and check out the events. we got a lot of events coming up, concerts, festivals, all kinds of things going on. So great place. Get on the road and come on down. And after a day on the trail and your stomach is starting to rumble, stop and try the new Silver Silo Bakery and Espresso, just a few miles down the road. It's a brand new restaurant here in Cedar City, and it's a fun experience. If you like Waco, Texas and Fixer Upper, this is a place you want to be at. It's a sandwiches, soups, great breakfast stuff, um, espressos, everything you could possibly want on a drink menu. They grind their own wheat every day, so everything is made fresh, and they offer the world famous Utah Spud Nut, you gotta try it. Iron County is full of beauty and adventure. A great place to get away without ever having to leave Utah. So it doesn't matter if you're into mountain biking, OHV, fishing, exploring, Iron Springs can be your resort, can be your hub. Right, all kinds of adventure out here and you can create your own venue for weddings, parties, family reunions, all kinds of things. And how do people get a hold of you? IronspringsUtah.com, so check us out. Very good, hey, and if you're looking for just the county-wide, check ironcounty.net. I'm Adam Eco, KSL Outdoors, reminding you out with your family, your friends, come down to Iron County and live a little outdoors. We'll see you next weekend, good night. Oh, nice.